Hello guys and welcome to another video on my channel. As you can see here, I have a couple of unboxings to show you, so please stay tuned. This video is also celebrating my 50th video on YouTube, so I decided to put this on. This is... Um, uh, football jersey from my favorite team, uh, Bodo Glimt, uh, that has won the Norwegian league uh, two years in a row in 2020 and 2021. So I thought I would honor the, all of them in this uh, video. Uh, but as you can see from the title, uh, this is a Mulberry unboxing and it's an LV uh, unboxing. Uh, so I thought maybe I would start with the LV unboxing because that's the smallest one. Uh, I can just uh, reveal that the other one is a handbag uh, but uh, I was in Oslo the other day and I uh, went into the store and uh, if you have been following my channel for a while uh, you know that I have a weakness and um, yeah I just uh, let's get into this unboxing and you will know what I'm talking about uh, this is a true unboxing because I haven't opened it since I left the store so it comes in this uh, box here, and here I have the receipt. So uh, let's uh, open it then. It's nicely wrapped here. And it comes in this box like this. And voila, I think you can guess if you have watch my videos as I said and uh, yeah you know the shape here <laughs> so of course uh, it's a belt another one in my collection and this time I bought this one here it's the reverse monogram eclipse I have the eclipse monogram eclipse uh, already uh, and I really like this new version of in the belts because now you can remove the buckle and uh, ex uh, exchange it for another one. In another video, I'll link it down below, I unboxed a uh, Damir beam belt with a silver buckle, so I thought that uh, with this buckle here, uh, there's not many gold uh, belts, gold buckle belts, so I thought okay, uh, let's go with this one and I can exchange this one with the silver one if I want to. But here you can see uh, the belt, it doesn't come off very the true color, but it's like this uh, dark grayish maybe. It's not black, but it's not gray either. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, it is uh, reversible. And you can just uh, open it here and put the LV buckle on the other side. So. Now it's two belts in one from Louis Vuitton. The, um, back in the days, it was just one belt uh, for the price you paid. So I paid 5,050 kroners for this. This is like around 800, 750 dollars or something. Uh, and uh, I got my uh, usual size. So here you can see. So I have thought about this belt for a while and it was missing <laughs> in my collection. Uh, because when I have worn several kind of um, clothing, I thought, oh, this would uh, look nice with uh, this outfit. Uh, so uh, I feel <laughs> that my belt collection is kind of complete now. If it's uh, I want to buy another belt, it has to be something really uh, special. Uh, there is one from uh, Versace, a couple of belts from Versace on the way, but. Uh, after those belts, uh, I think I'm quite content. Uh, when, but when it comes to LV belts, uh, I think this will be my last one. Uh, if it's not, uh, there won't be any special edition or something. Maybe I would buy, but not for the regular uh, ones. Uh, so, let's see. It says, yeah, it's M0285. And it says made in Spain actually, because most belts I think are made in France. Uh, yeah. So this is 36 uh, inches or size 90. Yes, I wear in my belts. So um, 
very happy with this uh, purchase here you see it comes with this uh, so that was <laughs> the belt uh, in my uh, another belt in my uh, collection so I will definitely uh, be wearing that now it's a uh, it's, uh, summer holiday here in Norway but uh, we're soon going back to work and then uh, this belt will be uh, worn for sure just pack it away so I can get to the real cool stuff and that is a um, handbag unboxing as you can see it came in this uh, brown box here and if I open it like this I think you know where it's from and that is from uh, Fashion 5 uh, I just uh, think I will open it first and then I can tell you the backstory of why I bought it but um, yeah see here I got uh, that's the first time actually I've gotten a, a gift from a fashion file I haven't ordered from them them too many times because uh, in Norway you get 25% uh, duties and taxes when you buy something but this time I was lucky uh, I didn't get any um, taxes to pay so I uh, I'm quite happy uh, with this uh, purchase because I was prepared to buy another 25% of the price I paid in dollars but I don't know uh, uh, why I think uh, maybe it's because of summer or something there uh, I don't yeah but uh, here is it here this is for my nails and then it says here I like my money where I can see it hanging in my closet so this was a nice gift uh, but okay let's uh, open it used used is the new new it says here so we'll open it like this i think i have to hold the, <laughs> hold the box a little bit there so there you go i didn't come with the original dust bag but uh i knew that when i bought it but fashion file has uh, provided me uh, their own dust bag so that's nice so here we go and as you can see like I said it's a mulberry unboxing I haven't uh, I have a bracelet in mulberry yes I do <laughs> but I don't have any handbags uh, from uh, mulberry so this is be my first and probably only mulberry handbag uh, but here you go guys this is this uh, kind of pink color comes a little bit uh, darker up on screen I believe uh, but uh, it's quite clear uh, so this is was in excellent uh, condition I uh, just had a few scratches on the hardware and uh, maybe small marks somewhere on the outside I don't remember but it was very good uh, condition as of excellent and I have just uh, look at the hardware here uh, it's almost perfect there's no scratches here uh, not at all actually no this looks very good I have to say I uh, am impressed and uh, as you can see here uh, it's this lock like you have on the Chanel there and you open it and it's also this magnetic closer here so you open it like this and it's stuffed here I'll take out the stuffing and you can see it's this open compartment here and inside here it's a little pocket so um, yeah and here of course I have to prove authenticity it says mulberry here and yeah you see the number here so uh, why I bought this bag was um, mostly because of Chase Amy, uh, her channel, because she had uh, she's a British and this is a British uh, company, and she had bought her mini Alexa and she raved about it, and I just thought, okay, I don't have any Melbourne in my collection, so I why not uh, buy one? But I, it's uh, not that I resell my bags because I want to have them in my collection forever but sometimes the bag doesn't work out 
and I decided to resell and I knew that the Mulberry resale is not the best <laughs> so I thought why not uh, get one preload um, but I was sure about getting one in uh, good uh, good condition now I see there's a couple of scratches here but they're not they're too easy to see uh, but um, anyway I found this one and it was this weekend deal uh, they had uh, it was already 5% off and there was a deep weekend deal with another 10% so I just rushed <laughs> to uh, buy this one and got in my cart and uh, checked out so I got this then with a 15% off at $621 and this retails for uh, at least uh, about the double the price uh, I think in Norway it's more than double the price as well because it's like fourteen thousand dollars, nine kroners, forty thousand kroners, and uh, that's uh, yeah I don't know fifteen, yeah about fifteen hundred dollars or something. Uh, so I got this uh, for a very good deal, and um, you can see here I don't know yeah you can see here the mulberry over here uh, as well. Uh, so, um, it's nice cross, uh, I think it's nice, it will be a nice uh, crossbody. Uh, I have to say I had the opening just to try it out to see if this was something I wanted to reveal on my channel. Uh, but it definitely, uh, it, it definitely is. So I'm very very happy uh, with this one. Uh, I have another, um, I have a LV uh, Alma BB also in the Amaral, that's a mini bag and but I wanted something pop of color and I think for mini bags uh, buying something in a pop of color is nice I would buy it in a big bag uh, but uh, this one I thought was uh, really nice and you can also see here on the hardware if you can see it's a small brick I don't know if it's showing up, but it says Mulberry here also on the hardware. Uh, but uh, this is a keeper in my collection for sure. Fits a phone, I think it will fit a small wallet, yeah, etc. Uh, also watch Isabel Style. She also has uh, one of these. She's uh, Australian and uh, you know they are part of the Commonwealth. So maybe Mulberry is kind of big down there as well, down under. Uh, but she said she had a problem with uh, or an issue uh, with the fact that if you put this on it wouldn't snap so easily but on this one it seems they snap on quite nicely so you just open and they snap like this so it's a very secure <laughs> secure handbag uh, anyway so uh, I will just get a pair of scissors and uh, be back so you should uh, you know that this is not an unboxing just for the sake of it and then I'll send it back and hoping for views and uh, this is definitely a bag I will keep but uh, just a second and I'll get the scissors so here I'm back with the scissor and I will just look it off like this there you go Oops. here you go and that's now the bag is mine So there you have it guys, that was my double uh, unboxing and celebrating my 50th video on uh, YouTube. So uh, I hope you enjoy, please leave a comment down below if you own this bag um, and how it's wearing, how you're holding up, how you enjoy it etc. Uh, since I'm quite new to this uh, Mulberry game I would uh, love to know what you uh, think about it. But uh, I hope you have a nice day. And until next time, I will see you soon. Bye!